Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 40. In this episode, I'm going to be tying up a lot of loose ends, looking after our productions, and just basically doing a bit of housekeeping, so to speak. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is just uh, collect all the eggs. There's plenty of them. We'll run them down to the mayonnaise factory and fill that up. There's probably be quite a few left over and we'll bring those back up and sell them in the farm shop. Right, let's get that going. Eggs are producing nicely. We're getting a nice little bunch every day. They're pretty much uh, fully stocked with laying laying hens at the moment. Here we are in town, we're just about, well, we're in town as such, it's a little way to go up to the Maynose factory. Just showing a bit of a in-cab shot driving up because we normally do the view from outside when we come into town to show you, give you an idea of what's around, but I thought it might just be a little bit different just to do an in-cab shot. Right, here we are at the mayonnaise factory. Let's see how many it takes. Got 14,000, probably only take about... Oh, I don't know. I didn't really check before I came down. I suppose I should have. <laughs> we'll fill it up now and then we'll... Uh, we'll only need to come back in a... Well, we'll have to come and collect stock, I suppose, so we can always bring bring down some. But uh, maybe we'll skip next month and just sell all the eggs. That's still about... I think that's about it. Just go and check up quickly. Let's go and have a look and see. I'm pretty sure it's full. It's full, only takes 10,000 eggs, so that should last a couple of months. I don't think there's anything to take back because I think we collected fairly recently, last episode I think we collected. Yeah, there's only one, one that we'll collect it in the next month. Right, let's get back to the store. No, let's get back to the store, let's get back to the farm. And we'll go and sell these through the farm shop. We'll put them into the farm shop for sale. Here we are back at the store again. Why do I keep saying store? Here we are back at the farm. Right, let's get these sold. There we go. I think we may have just nudged the gazebo there. Should get a reasonable amount out of the slot. It's, yeah, not to be scoffed at. We've got quite a few sort of income streams on the go now, so that's good. It means we're not entirely reliant on just one source of income. Right, I think we've got plenty of slurry. Let's see if we can go and arrange for the slurry to be collected. We've got quite a bit of manure as well, but um, we use that. We use that for our Let's not sell that right now. But I think 80,000 litres, I think that's full for that. We only put a small um, manure heap in. Right, slurry's got 240,000 litres. We'll get that sold. Should bring in a couple of grand. Not sure what the capacity of the uh, slurry pit is. We must check it out. Right, let's get some um, feed into the chickens. These are all the sort of housekeeping things 
or farm keeping things <laughs> things that we don't do every month because they've this, well the chickens have quite a big capacity for the for their feed so but we'll go and uh, top that all up and then it's done where are we now Should be plenty in here. Well, I can't I find the. There we go. The trigger points are fairly small. I suppose you've got to get the trailer underneath the, the auger, so <laughs> it's fair enough. Especially the first time I, I do it when I, when I haven't done it for a while. I do uh, struggle to remember exactly where the where the um, trigger points are. Right, let's go and see if this will feed all of them. I doubt it. May do that. We're gonna find out. <laughs> right, let's get. Oh, maybe we should do the other side first because the they slightly stack at the. Uh, the feeding points. So this is the closest to the end on the left. Right, let's get in there, let's get that topped up. They do the, the, the capacity for feed is pretty big. So uh, yeah. Should do should do well. I should do well. Should take quite a bit should I say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Reasonable amount. We might be able to fill the next one as well, and a little bit of the third one. We'll have to go and get a bit more again, I think. I don't think this will feed all of them. Well, I don't think it'll fill all four, should I say. As long as we get... Well, these two, will, I'm pretty sure, will be four. Is it going to... Yeah. So those two are full. The top two might not be um, full to capacity. So we'll put this in and then we'll go and... Because I don't think this will fill it. It'll go a long way to filling it, but... Uh, yeah, it's completely emptied. They seem to be taking about, this is a 30,000 litre um, trailer, so they're taking about 10,000. We're going to put another 10,000 in and put it into the ducks. It has to, of course, be done all the time. Uh, most of the time I do it off camera, but I just thought it's probably good to show some of the daily routine. 76,000, it's probably got another feed going there, but wheat which will be uh, due for harvesting quite soon. I think it's barley that's probably just about ready, may even be ready, we'll check that out probably in the next episode see if that needs to be harvested I think there might be rye to come up pretty soon maybe not this month maybe the next month 
there's lo there's a lot of harvesting to to be done. So we put just over ten thousand liters in there. I don't think it'll fill it, but it'll it'll get it close to full. Good enough so that it, it will. Um, It'll keep pace with the others. Right, let's go and have a look quickly. So that one's full. That one's full. Almost full. Um, less so, it's a couple of thousand, but it's good enough. Way into the 20,000 litres, so yeah, not to, not to worry. Right, let's get this parked up. Also, I've got to put water into all of the all of the um, greenhouses, the I think the oranges and um, lemons I think are empty on on water, but we'll get that done soon. rest first and then finish off the rest. Also we'll have some more income. I've got a feeling I should have done the should have watered the greenhouses. Oh, they're still producing. Those are right. Oh, oh, we're full of full of um, cotton. It's because we went to re um, rest early. So we must uh, we must remember that we need to clear the cotton before we rest in the in the afternoons otherwise we um, well I don't know I don't think we lose production but it, uh, it has a very small collection it only can only store six I think um, pellets and we've got pretty much 300 sheep in there now I think we're full so let's get that loaded and get it back down to the to the clothing factory. We should have some clothes to pick up. Must just try and remember to <laughs> to clear it again this afternoon uh, before we go into July. I think June is going to be a very busy month. So I think we will. So there is some lemons produced. So hopefully we haven't run out of water there, but I suspect we might have on the exotic or the citrus fruits, should I say? Right, let's get this in. Just nip around the corner. Just re reset the loading trailer, the trailer to loading.
I don't think we will sell the clothing this month. I think we're going to store for quite a few months now. I suspect it will be way below 18,000. Because last month when we sold we were right at the top of the market. Yeah, it's down to 16,000 so... Yeah, I think we'll just put that into the store. To the pallet store for now. We might be forced to sell them at some stage, but... Try and hang on. We've got a lot of other stuff that we can get income from. The food stuff which we really need to sell as soon as it's made. Mayonnaise and um, fruit juices, those type of things. You don't want to store those for too long. Let's go and pick up whatever fruit is. It looks like the oranges are not producing. Looks like dead trees. This is dead trees there as well. Yeah, I think we've run out of water. We'll get that sorted. I did say before we slept that I should, that I was going to do it, and I didn't do it. So. So only myself to blame for that. Yep, no oranges produced. Dang. It's lost production. It's lost opportunity. Could be the no, I'm sure there was manure in there. I think it's the water. Yeah, no water. We'll get that sorted out. sure yeah there's plenty of manure of course the manure hasn't been used because the water's run out pretty sure this will be dry as well yeah and a bit of flat a bit of a flat spin because I don't like to uh, to allow that to happen but it's happened Nothing we can do about it now. Just don't think too much about the lost production. So we won't notice it this month, we'll notice it next month when we don't have very much fruit juice to sell. Very slow. I think I mentioned the last time. Very slow to offload here. There's a couple of the productions that are like that. I don't suppose it's too much of a problem. Right, let's get the fruit juice loaded up. We can sell that in the farm, farm shop. I think there's lemonade and orange juice. Be interesting to see what we get for the lemonade. Because we we had to buy in sugar, so we're probably not gonna make much money on the lemonade. But once we're producing sugar it should be okay. So hopefully it brings in a bit more money than the normal juices. So look, pineapple juice two seven, orange juice two eight, two seven two eight, and the lemonade. There it is there. Two nine. Oh, it's not. It's a little bit more, but not much. We'll have to keep an eye on that. On the, you know, might be just worthwhile making 
pineapple juice and orange juice and, not, and using the sugar elsewhere. Yeah. For the amount of work that it takes to produce sugar, I'm not sure that that's worth doing. Well, we've still got sugar in there, so we'll, we should be able to produce this, and when the sugar runs out, we'll make a decision on that. I'll have to do a bit more investigation, just have a look at the average pricing and that type of stuff. It might sell better at different times of the year. In any case, we'll get this salt, put this into the, into the small farm shop. Then I guess we need to go and sort out how how we've been saying warehouses or greenhouses. I hope I've been saying greenhouses and not warehouses. But knowing me, I probably have said warehouses. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's reasonable money. That's reasonable money for a day's production, for a month's production. Besides the lemonades, the orange juice doesn't have a lot of other inputs besides the actual orange, the oranges, which, it, which take a bit of manure, which we make ourselves, water which we produce ourselves from our pond down there. Out the ends, which we pipe into um, to our warehouses. Yeah, so that's good. Right, so we're going to get a lot of different products produced. A bit of tomatoes, pumpkins. Put it all into our farm shop. Keep our farm shop nice and stocked for people to come and visit. Start attracting customers to come in to buy from farm shop and the farm shop down at the honey area we'll think of maybe putting a restaurant or something in on the farm as well have a couple of alternative sources of income you know uh, daisy right let's go and have a look and see what we've got at the other warehouses well <laughs> here you see now warehouses on the brain Greenhouses, some more lettuce. Lettuce is slow, slower producing, but uh, good money. I think we've got some strawberries producing here as well. That'll bring that'll bring the customers in the strawberries. Could hold some vegetables as well in terms of salad ingredients, tomatoes, lettuce. Pumpkins for soup and pies. I remember we want to do some pumpkin pies. We want to buy the bakery fairly soon as well. So full, as per usual, just one left. <laughs> Maybe we should put the forks on the front and we could still take it down. We've only, we've only just got to go, the farm shop's only around the corner. It's going to take us too long to get there. Yeah, this area is not suitable for the, for the tractors. We do need to have the little John Deere when we come and load up here through this area. It's just much easier. As I said, we'll, we'll look fairly soon to getting something with a bit more horsepower. Small with a bit more horsepower to, to do these tight jobs. Let's get on down to the... to 
the old farm shop. I suppose we can call it the farm farm shop, whereas the other one is the honey farm shop, or the uh, not honey, the um, apple juice farm shop. I need to go and have a look and see what's happening down there. I don't know whether we'll get around to that today, but uh, yeah, must remember to do that. This should bring another 10 grand or so, I hope. It's a little bit of a ledge here now that we've put the, uh, the other sail point in next to the farm shop here. I'll have to have a look at that sometime. Smooth that, it's not too bad, but it's a bit of a bump. Didn't notice it when I was when I was putting it in. I don't think it's too much of a problem. You don't notice it unless you're driving over it. Yeah, ten thousand, pretty good guess. see. Yep, so we'll just do this in a bit of a time lapse. Get as much of the watering done as possible and we'll catch you once it's done.
Alright, so that's everything full of water. Which is good. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We've done quite a bit of housekeeping, everything is full. We'll feed sometime during the course of the day, feed the animals. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!